today I am in a Ford Focus third generation and I want to show how it looks inside and what you can do inside. Very quickly I want to show you the functions. Maybe if you buy if you just buy this car or maybe if you're going to buy this car, uh, it will be of some use to you. So this is how the interior looks. Um, it's not extremely modern I would say but this is what you get an SE and higher uh, trims not bad I would say for a 2018 car uh, that is five years old now it still looks more or less um, up to date more or less modern so what you have here uh, that's pretty understandable you uh, use it for your windows uh, then there is lock and lock function. Um, then uh, here is the switch uh, for your light. Uh, you can open the trunk here. Uh, you can uh, turn on the fog lights. You can uh, use your uh, switch for light. Now it has the automatic light option. That's a very cool for such a budget friendly car. Uh, when it's automatic, uh, the focus will decide on its own uh, whether it's needed to turn on the uh, headlights, the low beam lights or not. Now, here, as in all Fords, you can control the brightness of your dash. So you can change the brightness of your dash. Uh, also, you have some steering wheel buttons. Um, that's, that's not completely uh, cool. To control all functions I like this function of the Bluetooth so you can uh, take calls and you can give voice commands to your uh, to your infotainment system if you have a connected phone uh, you can uh, take your uh, calls you can uh, decline the calls you can change volume here uh, the volume of music the volume of uh, calls uh, when you have a Bluetooth option on and on all the things so this is a pretty cool thing now this is the trip computer um, controls and it helps you choose all these settings and controls for example if you go here you will find that, that there are several uh, monitors and several kind of settings here you press ok you go into settings and then you have driver assist uh, my key settings, uh, display settings, like for example language. Uh, you can browse, uh, it's not a lot of settings, but you can browse them and maybe you will find something uh, useful. You have two trip screens. Trip 1 is, for example, for short distance and trip 2 is for uh, long distance. Uh, you can reset it, uh, not simultaneously and get all this information okay so um, this is quite understandable you have kind of a joystick to control all your functions of the trip computer you have a k button to uh, choose something to confirm something here you have the cruise control buttons um, if you want to use the cruise control you press on when you're driving and then you press set minus or set plus when any 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 of these buttons when you want to uh, drive at a certain speed then you can take your <clears throat> take your foot off the gas pedal and the car will maintain the speed you've just chosen then you can set the speed higher or uh, lower <clears throat> using these buttons uh, resetting uh, will help you reset all the settings and then set another speed uh, something like this. So this is quite easy to use. Uh, you just use it once and then you understand how to use it. Now you have the Stokes. Uh, Stokes was pretty simple and understandable uh, things. Uh, I will not explain them because it's like intuitive thing in every car. Uh, now I showed you this um, dash. Nothing pretty interesting here. You can choose different uh, screens. Uh, like many people will have uh, this screen that shows everything, like everything you, you may need, uh, fuel consumption, uh, distance to, to empty tank and all the things. 
Uh, now in the central console, uh, I have this comp- dream with the Sony infotainment system and quite a big screen for uh, default focus. It looks nice. It looks nice, and uh, this uh, screen is touch screen, and it works pretty well if it's not overheated. If uh, if the sun shines directly on this screen, it will glitch a little. But it's, it's not like in other cars because in some Mazdas this screen will just die, and you will not uh, be able to use it. So it's not bad for uh, for the car that costs this money. Um, that's pretty intuitive how you can control all the things. Uh, the same as with the climate control, if you press auto uh, and then you choose uh, the needed temperature. I have it in Celsius, but you can choose then in settings and uh, turn it to Fahrenheit. We have the two side climate control, so I can change uh, for a passenger, I can change the temperature for uh, a driver. Uh, then I have, uh, I, I may choose where I want the air to go and uh, I can turn on or off the AC. I can turn on the circulation, I can turn on the rear window uh, and I can choose the speed of the fan. But when, when you start choosing all these things, your auto mode turns off. So when you press auto, uh, it just controls the speed of the fan. On its own. Here you have the USB for uh, charging your phone, and uh, that's this is really nice and nice uh, shelf here to put your phone. Because in some other cars, for example, in my Honda CRV, I don't have this. My Honda CRV 2014, I don't have this shelf, and it's really annoying. I don't have the place to put my phone, and uh, that's why I really like this focus because you can put the phone here and you can install it in charge and you will not have a lot of cables uh, running through all your central consoles. Uh, that's that's nice. Uh, you have the 12 volt uh, socket here for some charges and for some other things. Uh, here you have the shifter and it allows you not only to shift between the needed uh, modes but also control the uh, gear you may turn to higher gears by pressing this plus button or to lower gears by pressing the minus button when you drive but i don't recommend using this because the power shift transmission is not the most um, reliable transmission in the world and you should just be careful with it i also have this um, compartment with another uh, USB charger with another 12 volt uh, socket here. The compartment is very small, but again, I can put my phone there to charge and just close it. So, the simple and uh, pretty comfortable, convenient solution. The interior of the Focus it's very intuitive uh, and it looks more expensive than it costs, let's say. When you touch all these plastics, you understand they are very hard, they are pretty cheap uh, but if you don't touch it if you just look at it it looks okay so if you have any questions please ask in the comments if you want to share your experience also go to the comments